Uh, Mike, uh, do you have any other piece of advice you can give new collectors? Try to become part of the community. You know, it's, it's the best way to, to uh, learn more about meteorites. You know, develop some friends and they can be across the street or across the world. That's the, the beauty of the internet. What I recommend for beginner collectors is if you're looking for investment, stick with something an older fall, documented fall, something you know the total weight of, something you're not going to find up later that they have more kilos instead of just 13 kilos. Now you come up with 70 kilos. For investment purpose, stick with older falls, documentation. Also, be very careful who you deal with. You want yeah, to deal with reliable so sources, actually, people yeah, where you can always have a money back guarantee. If you, if they sell you I'll something, they're not actually, really we'll know about what it is, or if they yeah. don't know if it's a meteorite or not, and you pay for it as a meteorite. So trust your sources always. You know, deal with reputable people. If you don't know who he is, if you don't know his background, if he hasn't been in business for a long time, just somebody just started. Yeah. You know, um, I would be very careful with dealing with people overseas. If you don't, you know, if they're far away and you don't know, you know, you can't really get your money back or get your stuff shipped, you know how to track them down, sue them if you have to sue them. Buy from reputable dealers, absolutely. Know who you're buying from, get paperwork with each piece. Um, you want the information, keep the information with the meteorite after you buy it. Uh, you'll mix it up and you'll be thankful that you have the information. Keep the cards. Well, it's really tricky to just have one piece of advice for new collectors. I kind of would have probably a couple. Okay. And that is, first off, they probably ought to look at getting a little bit of education. You know, read a little bit in books, read a little bit online to kind of get an idea of what this is all about. Uh, that may help generate a little bit of idea of what field of interest in this overall field of meteorites they want to, to, to get into. But the the other piece of advice is is don't try to you know swallow the elephant in one bite. I get so many people that come to me. They get so excited. They want to own everything and they want to own it now. And 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 they'll end up. I had one person that ended up purchasing I don't know 30 or 40 different specimens for a total of about 140 bucks. So they had a nice little meteorite collection, but they ended up with stuff that was non-representative so when they went to a book to read about say a, a chondrite their pieces were so small they really couldn't get an idea of what chondral structure was you know my advice would be slow down buy a few representative samples early on don't worry if you haven't figured out what area you want to specialize in but you know buy representative samples and that doesn't mean buy things the size of dinner plates you know an inch across is plenty good for most things but buy a few representative samples learn about them and then and, and, and see where it goes from there and don't be afraid that, that oh no I bought a sample and I later on I, I might decide that's not the area I want to collect you'll have plenty of opportunities to sell it or trade it to somebody else later uh, and that's why you know eventually everybody at some point ends up having some kind of focus in their collection it might be a type collection where I have one of each type it might be only witness falls it might be only irons it might be only palisades and, and, and and again, don't expect you to have that pop out early on in collecting, but, but don't be afraid to, 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 to let it happen and, and, and then focus on that later. Uh, you, you, there's no way any collector is going to be able to own everything out there. And, and I've watched a few collectors try and they just flame out and, and quit by trying. And they, they, they realized, oh, I can't do this, and they gave up without realizing they would have been perfectly happy if they just kind of focused a little bit on one aspect. Uh, do you have any recommendations on how new collectors can find what they're going to like to collect? Well, again, that gets back to uh, owning, you know, buying a few different samples of various different kinds of meteorites and doing research, reading books on them, because then it'll boil to the surface in their minds and they'll figure it out eventually, and it may be a year or two before that happens. Really, uh, I guess what I would say is read as much as you can. Get a copy of uh, any of Richard Norton's book. He's got, I think, three different books, Rocks from Space, 
uh, Encyclopedia of Meteorites, and I forget the name of the third one, but uh, that would be my number one. Buy all three books, read, and, and learn as much as you can about meteorites before you really start, you know, spending a, a, a big bunch of money on uh, rocks from space. All right, and uh, what would you see the number one mistake new collectors making? To me, probably is is everybody always seems to like irons at first, and I think a lot of people buy those irons, and and I you, irons a lot of times require a little bit of care. So I think you can you know you buy that iron, it starts to rust on you, and you decide ooh you know maybe I don't like meteorites, but that's probably my number one you know recommendation or, or mistake I see is maybe stay away from the irons, go to the stones, try to get to understand the irons and what it takes to to to, uh, to keep them you know from rusting away on you so that that'd probably be my number one piece of advice uh, they should uh, learn about meteorites in the books for example uh, uh, the rocks from the space uh, of uh, his name <laughs> richard norton uh richard norton yeah richard norton uh, and, and simple book of Alan Carrion, uh, Alan Carrion meteorites. Okay. Uh, shortly about all uh, kind of meteorites. Yeah, there's the, your piece of advice: buy low, sell high. The Russian, <laughs> Russian advice was buy from me. <laughs> um, Anything else you'd like to say to new beginners? Um, eBay rocks.